Colchester's playoff hopes are back on track in the nick of time with this crucial win over fellow hopeful Swindon. Ashley Vincent missed five months of the season after injuring his ankle in September, ironically against Swindon. So you can understand his joy at opening the scoring. Luckily, Vincent wasn't riding in the Grand National. He'd have gone at the first. That had come against the run of play, but no doubt about the better side in the second half. Anthony Wordsworth doubled the advantage on 69 minutes as the U's looked to end a run of eight without a win. The Robins had won their last four on the road to move into the top two, but this reverse knocks Danny Wilson's men back into a playoff spot. Wordsworth's second in stoppage time merely underlined Colchester's superiority. The action from League One. Swindon stopped in their tracks, Southampton still hoping. And can Wickham escape the drop? Swindon's six-game unbeaten run came to an end at Colchester, where Charlie Austin had the chance to put them in front, but didn't. Doesn't miss many. On this occasion, it wasn't his day. Austin only had one chance to make his shot count. Ashley Vincent had three goes before he eventually beat David Lucas. Yes, the ex-Cheltenham player had one, two, it was third time lucky. Now, Danny Wilson said he was disappointed with the result, but not Swindon's performance. And that's good, because it's performances that will eventually get them the right results. Anthony Wordsworth, though, scored twice in the second half to put the match beyond the visitors. It's, it's no more than a setback. Swindon will look to get their promotion challenge back on track when they meet Exeter at the county ground on Monday night. Five wins in the last six took Swindon to second in League One over Easter. Colchester's lack of a win in eight means they dropped out of the playoff places over the same period. And it was Swindon who dominated the early proceedings. Jonathan Douglas with the shot just over. Danny Ward also went close a whisker away from opening the scoring. Then it was Charlie Austin with the first header. J.P. McGovern had another go. And Ben Williams scrambling it away once more. Then Simon Ferry picked out leading scorer Billy Painter. His shot blocked. Even the normally ice-cold Charlie Austin had a rush of blood over the bar from two yards. After all that Swindon pressure, you know what's coming. Colchester opened the scoring, though Ashley Vincent needed three tries to get the ball into the net. Not sure about the celebration, but it was his third league goal of the season. Even so, Swindon continued to dominate proceedings. Skipper Gordon Greer with the shot back off the bar. And then in the second half, Danny Ward with a little one-two with Painter. Painter shot well saved by Ben Williams. Somehow that Colchester goal stayed intact. And with 20 minutes to go, they added a second. Anthony Wordsworth, the scorer from long range. Now nine goals in the season for him, well teed up by Kevin Lisby. David Lucas unable to keep it out. And then Lisby repeated the trick, Wordsworth in for a third goal. Colchester still outside the playoffs, but they're level on points now with Huddersfield. Colchester 3, Swindon 0. Colchester were hoping to get their playoff hopes back on track if they could secure a crucial win over fellow hopeful Swindon. No win in their previous eight meant the U's had dropped out of the playoff places. And they were under pressure from the off. Daniel Ward firing narrowly wide. And there was to be no let up from the visitors who put three past Tranmere last time out. But neither Billy Painter nor Charlie Austin could provide a finishing touch. Ashley Vincent missed five months of the season after injuring his ankle in September, ironically against Swindon. So you can understand his joy at opening the scoring. Luckily, Vincent wasn't riding in the Grand National. He'd have gone at the first. The Robins were in blistering form, winning their previous three. They didn't want this game to slip away from them, and Gordon Greer almost had them back on level terms before the break. The visitors had run the show in the first half, but no doubt about the better side in the second. Swindon scrambling the ball away, but they wouldn't be able to stop the U's from adding more. Anthony Wordsworth doubled the advantage on 69 minutes as Colchester looked to end that barren run without a win.
Swindon have won their last four on the road to move into the top two. But this defeat sees Danny Wilson's men move out of the automatic promotion places. Wordsworth second in stoppage time merely underlined Colchester's superiority. Swindon did have a chance at a consolation, substitute Vincent Pericard forcing the best out of Ben Williams, but the victory for Colchester sees them outside the playoffs now, only on goal difference. We're really pleased with it. We knew it would be difficult because Swindon are on a good side with a you know, really good experienced manager in Danny Wilson. And uh, we, had to, we had to work hard for it. You know, the first 15 minutes we weren't the better team. We had to get our blocks in and defend well, but uh, in the end I think, you know... We, we were persistent and we got what we deserved. Disappointing, yeah, I suppose that's the right word. A bit frustrating, I suppose. I think we played very well today. You know, we've um, maybe uh, last week that, that uh, Colchester could say that they should have got something from Millwall and didn't. This week they possibly shouldn't have got anything and got something. So it's funny how it works out in games, uh, particularly this part of the season. But um, we've had enough chances today. You know, we, we cannot look at anything more than ourselves, really. Swindon were always likely to slip up at some point, and they did so against playoff chasers Colchester. With both Millwall and Leeds winning, Swindon are back down to fourth in League One. Had won 3 0 twice in a week, a taste of their own medicine then from a combative Colchester. This miss summed up their afternoon 3 0, sending a bruised Swindon back down to fourth.